Hey guys, another episode of My Car Story, and I'm at the Saratoga Auto Museum, and this one I'm going to feature because, well, it's iconic. I'm with Zach. Zach, your last name? Uh, Skoranek. He's our media director here today, and he's giving me access, which means you get access, to the actual DB5 in one of the movies for James Bond, so the 007 car. Let's take a look at it. So here we go. So Zach, let me ask you a couple of questions as we look at the iconic DB5. First question I have for you is how did the museum get this and how long do you have it for? So we'll have it for an entire year through December. Wow. Uh, typically we only do exhibits for six months at a time, but this one was so big, so epic, uh, we decided to go for a year. Um, the reason we got it is we have a relationship with the Peterson Museum in LA. And so Steve, our curator, was looking for the next exhibit, and he talked to this contact at the Peterson and got this going. So at the Peterson, it was the first time this exhibit was shown. Um, so now this is the first time it's shown on the East Coast. And yeah, that's kind of how we came, came about it. And we will show you some of the details of this car. If you look carefully, I could pull that, but I'm not going to <laughs> expose the machine guns. Yeah, right. But um, obviously these cars, there were several of them. Some of them are props. This one was clearly one of the cars. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that when we get to the interior more so than anything else. Mm -hmm. Really cool to have the DB5. I mean, that, that is, when you, think of, when you think of the James Bond car, this is the one you think of. And I'll just show you another picture which is Roger Moore with the car Pierce Bronson and there they are with the car in the background there and uh, pretty cool right something I noticed right off the bat remember it's got an ejector top and if you look at the ejector top notice the line is a little bit leaning towards the passenger so James Bond never gets blown out of the car but that passenger is always at risk so that's kind of interesting. Well, we can't start it because it's not uh, available. We're not going to be able to ride in it. But the benefit is, I don't know if you've ever seen James Bond's car's engine. So let's take a look at that. And while you're doing that, I just want to continue to show the back, the rims. There's your bonnet hood pole. You can see that. your prop rod. So there's your six cylinder James Bond's motor. Now I don't recall ever seeing the video view that you're seeing right here and I've watched a lot of James Bond stuff but I don't recall them opening up the engine compartment for you. So there's your carburation very cool. And there's your actual tag also super cool. I'm just going to move that back just a bit. But there's all the details of that car. Very nice engine. Looks like the dual overhead cam. <laughs> it's just, you've got a little bit of a hood scoop there. You can see it if I do that just right. And you've just seen it the underside of James Bond's car. Pretty cool. Alright, we'll close that and I'll share the uh, back end of the car before we get into the interesting part. So here's the back end of the car which you've sometimes seen. And it appears to me that this license plate doesn't spin around on this DB5. Can we open the trunk? Sure, yeah. Okay, I've unlocked here. So what's in James Bond's trunk? Well, actually, not a lot, at least in this car. You know, he's got to keep it empty in case he's got a you never dead know. body or something. Right, yeah, throw something in there, etc. Okay, all right, let's, uh, you can just see the tail lights, etc. You can hear the gunfire in the background, and uh, we're going to show you the interior. Double O Lou, you may enter your car. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate that. You've done a fine job getting it ready for me. So there is 
your instrumentation. Notice you've got the ejector sheet ready to eject somebody. Notice your buttons. Absolutely fantastic. I will say this, it definitely has a smell of an older car. The DB5. Here's your buttons. Shield, flame. Nice. There's the all important ejector seat. <laughs> a fire. Absolutely tremendous. And there's that roof line that you can see. So the roof line notice comes both sides, but from the outside of the car, clearly it, it doesn't have that. Well, what a cool opportunity. And of course, Sean Connery and I have sat in the same spot here driving this one. There you go. What does it feel like to be James Bond? And look out the windshield. Now you know it. You're in the movie as well. And usually you want to check out this way because that's where the bad guys are coming. So Zach, it's been a real treat to come out to the Saratoga Auto Museum. Likewise. Come to the Saratoga Auto Museum. You can see the description, information, and the details of this video. Also, Zach, one other thing before we leave. I've got a song for you. Mm -hmm. By the way, don't forget we've got a muscle car show, 6323. I'll be here. Make sure you come out to that. You'll have a great time at the Saratoga Auto Museum. But i got a little song for you. Ready? Let's hear it. Lulu, what do you think? That that works perfectly. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks.